Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a Google Meet slash Hangout account on your iPhone. So I'm going to take you through the full process of like downloading the app and then actually uh, signing up for an account in it. Just take you through the full process. So first of all, go on the App Store, click on that, and then you're going to want to type in Google Meet. And that's the official name for this one right here. So you're going to want to go and click Get on that. For me, it has that little cloud with a downwards arrow there, but for you, it will click, say get if you haven't downloaded it already. So click that, wait for it to download, go all the way around, and then you can either open it on this screen right here, uh, where you could download, download the app, or you can uh, just click on your apps page there. Once you've seen it's downloaded, it says meet, and then you can click on that. And then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click continue, and then it's gonna ask you to allow your microphone and your camera. You will need to do that, because obviously within meet, you should be using both of them. Then you're going to want to click add another account on this because uh, the accounts that might appear there already, uh, you can click on them and use them if you want to, but uh, the whole point of this video is to create a new account, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, so say Meet wants to use Google to sign in, click continue on that. And uh, then you're going, to, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, scroll down there and say create account. You can log with another one if you just don't have it on your device, etc. like that, using your email or phone. but. Most you want to click uh, create account and then say for myself, for my business. That's obviously your uh, decision in a situation there. Then you're going to want to go ahead and type in your first name and last name there uh, for this. I'm just going to do a random name, subscribe please uh, for that. So click next on that. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and type in your uh, basic information for this. Uh, so obviously keep it into an account here. Uh, if you're doing a real one, etc. Like certain things you can access if you're over 18, etc. Like that. So... Uh, just type in just a random birthday there, just for example. Uh, for the video example, then uh, Ginger putting that in there, and then uh, click done, and click next on to the next step. And then I'm just going to do a random email right here. I'm going to go ahead and type that in. You're going to want to uh, make sure you have an email that you're going to want to use uh, for uh, other uh, like people to like send to people and stuff. Uh, so, so once that's done, it might say uh, uh, the username is already taken. For mine, it just uh, did it there. But click next on that once you're done. Then create a strong password. Uh, so for this. Uh, making sure it says uh, create a strong password. You have like a different letters, numbers, and symbols. You want to make sure you do have all uh, the correct ones for that. So I think you need over, uh, I think like eight characters. I think it is. So eight or nine characters. You need like a, a capital letter, a number symbols. So you know how passwords work. So you can go ahead and put in that because uh, I made a mistake right there on that. So that's why it's taking so long for me. But uh, once I eventually get it in. Uh, for the password, then you want to click next. Once you've done that, and you obviously remember this, uh, to log in again. Uh, but then it'll say you want to say the password and click not now. But then it says this next bit where here where you can add your phone number. So make sure you do add in uh, your real number for this because you might get verification codes where if you don't put in a real number or a number you can access, maybe you won't be able to go into the next step. Uh, so for this bit, I'm going to skip. You can actually as well if you don't have access to your phone number, etc. But if you want to verify anything in the future, you will need to put the phone number on the account. But for now, I'm going to skip. So keep that in mind in future. Uh, so you're going to want to go ahead and say review your account. Just click continue on that. Uh, that's privacy things. So you have to like agree to get on to the next step for that pretty much. So I click agree for that. And then uh, it's going to load up uh, where it, uh, and then it was. you'll see like your camera. On there, you should see your front facing camera, you see your face, etc. on that. And then once you kind of see the screen right here, that's when you know that you're done, the account has been created. So leave a like on the video. If that did help you out, subscribe for more videos like this. Click on the screen to see my how-to videos on the Google Meet app and other videos similar. But that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.